hello everybody and welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm doing a very special collab with a very special friend slash fellow youtuber sarah smiles loves makeup um i have collab with her two previous times and i asked her if she wanted to collab again because i so much enjoy it i will link her channel down below um, she is a phenomenal person. I wish we lived closer um, because I think we would get along amazing. But since we don't, we, um, you know, get to talk through YouTube and other social medias. Anyways, we both got the Natasha Denona Safari palette. I do have my full review up on it. Um, I had used the palette several times before placing that review because on such an expensive palette, I would never do a first impressions unless it was just like a real spur of the moment, but I try not to. Um, and I still stand by what I say. I think the palette is absolutely stunning. Um, I think the shade range is phenomenal and I do think it is worth your money or if you don't have the money, my money buying my own palette was worth it so on that note i'm going to get started um i think i'm gonna go in with i think i'm gonna begin with um malia right here that beautiful color right there and I'm using the Morphe Time Jacqueline Hail Brush. And I will go all over my lid. What I have found with this palette, the best way to use it is by setting your lid. Prime and then set your lid. What, Genevieve? Set. So just prime set your lids not saying all the shades in here are perfect but i do truly enjoy this palette i have reached for it so many times and i think that it being on that palette changes it up for me i am getting tired of the metallics and the glitters things like that. I, I'm not saying I don't enjoy them, but I did enjoy a change. Um, and especially by high end because um, they usually always make a mixed palette. So it was very nice to see a high end come out with an all matte. Last year, Viseart Pro came out with their all matte and it is still one of my all time favorite all matte palettes. Um, okay, now I'm going to go in with who, well, let me think here, because there are so many gorgeous colors, we're going to go in, I love this color Lotus, I think this color right here is the most beautiful pink shade I have ever, ever used, ever. This palette is definitely not for a beginner. If you are a beginner, I, I just, I, I don't think that you would go well with the palette because it, it takes a little bit of know-how and um, anyways, I just, I don't think it's good for a beginner. This is such a beautiful shade. I'm bringing that almost all the way up. This is not a tutorial, so I'm not going to explain everything. It is a collab. Um, and uh, I'm so happy that she's feeling better and able to record. I uh, miss seeing her videos. Okay, let me see. Now we're going to go in with... Let's see here. So ColourPop came out today with their Disney um, collection. And I have very mixed feelings on it. I knew if it wasn't Disney, I would not want to buy one thing from that collection. 
And I'm going to go in with Desert Date, which is the most beautiful orange ever. Um, if you took away the Disney logo, packaging, all that good stuff, and you put out those shades, uh, the eyeshadow palette, I, I'm not a fan of the Super Shock shadows. I know a lot of people are, and that is great. I just, I gave all mine away. I'm just not a Super Shock shadow person at all. Um, the glosses, you know, I've said a million times before that one gloss is another gloss. They all end up being sheer. Um... <laughs> I just, I ordered the Disney and Katie collab with the glosses, so, yeah. But, um, there was just nothing unique about the eyeshadow palette or anything except for it being a Disney collection, which I am a big, big Disney fan. I, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Vinylmations, but when they came out, I was a big collector of them. Me and my husband had Disneyland passes, and I would get super excited. Uh, if you want to see one, I'll bring one on camera next time. They are the cutest thing. I have, like, Series 1, and they're just adorable. They had pirates. They had um, every Disney-themed character you can think of. Uh, I don't know if they make them anymore. It kind of became like a really big popular thing and hit pretty hard. Um, and people were just going crazy over them. And then it kind of died down and I think they lost a lot of business and they weren't making them as much. So um, I still have mine in my china cabinet so again if you guys are ever interested and you want to see them they're absolutely adorable in fact i have a few that are actually signed um one of them by the actual maker of it which was really cool so i'm gonna go in this i'm using my wing gauze now i switch it up and i'm just gonna build up that orange with a, a mahara a mahara I'm trying to say this right. Amhara. That's what it, it seems like it would be. It could be wrong. Um, so anyways. I'm just. I love Disney. But that collection did not wow me. Um, except for the packaging. So I sat here and contemplated back and forth. I wanted that PR box. And I thought, yeah, what are you going to do with that big PR box? It looks pretty big once you know it's all said and done and you know all the hype is over what are you gonna do with that PR I just I don't have the room um, I, I'm gonna be um, starting my declutter I have a box I've already got a bunch of brushes in and um, so I, I just have to really think things through I knew the shock shadows would not be for me i just knew it um so i thought you know what buy what you want not you know everything because it's disney just don't go overboard because there's so much coming out you know with the holidays i have so many birthdays in my family you know i got my sons my granddaughters my grandson, my daughter, and then the holidays in between that. So I'm like, you know what, with these expensive palettes you've been buying, and Jeffree Star came out with his lip liner slash eyeliner. You can use them in the waterline. I was like, oh yeah, that is a great multi-purpose. That is so for me. Um, so I did, I was smart. I went on there, I bought just the palette. Um, and the um, two lipsticks I thought I would wear. One of them was Belle, I think the other one was Ariel. The other colors were just not up my alley. Now I'm gonna go in with Tribe right here, which is most stunning, deep, 
beautiful reddish orange I have ever used. Um, so yeah, I uh, went on there and, but I kind of messed up because I, I was in a hurry and I got the palette and then I grabbed the two lipsticks because um, I love those Lex lipsticks are really good. And then I thought I grabbed a highlighter, but when I looked back, it was a flipping shock shadow. Uh, like, I think the color Hi Ho looks really light. And so I'm going to use it as a highlighter, but I'm happy with what I got. You know, I spent 40 as opposed to 120. And even in the PR, you didn't get everything. You were missing a highlighter and I think a shock shadow, something like that, which I think is a complete ripoff. I think you should get everything in it. But anyways, that is my story on the ColourPop. I do have some Jeffree Star lip liners coming and the, some of the highlighters. Oh my gosh, if you saw this video on those, wow. I'm bringing this out further. I want to like smoky. I want to like deep, deep smoky eye. Um, so, but they are pre-order, which is great because now they don't ship until the 5th. I have to learn what you call patience. I don't have them. <laughs> I am the instant gratification kind of person. I want something. I want it now. Okay, uh, it's just me. Now I'm going to go in with Aya right here on my brow bone. So while I'm chit-chatting away, um, we went to Not Scary Farm last Friday. And if you watch my video, my sister had bought in her ticket. And she got super, super sick. I mean, really, it was, she was really sick. Felt really bad. And she asked me if I'd go again, and I said, of course. So we're going tonight. I hope my feet can last. I know it's going to be more crowded because it's been going on for, well, a week. But it's just the way it goes. I'm not scared from it. It's really crowded. If you guys want any more vlog on that, let me know. It will probably be completely different. I think we're going to see more shows. Um, I only saw the one show, The Hanging, which was hilarious. But, um, yeah, just let me know if you're interested in another show. So, that is such beautiful oranges. God, I don't know how anyone could say this is patchy or any of that. I know I have my issues with colors, but this, this is not an issue. I'm sorry, look at that. This is not an issue. Okay. I have spoken. Blending and blending and blending. I'm thinking halo eye or not. I'm very debatable. Hmm. So, okay, so I decided not to do a halo, but kind of a half, kind of a half cut crease. Um, I'm going to go in with the shade Tamarind. Okay, I have done... I, I did the half crease and then I carried it over because I want to put a color going in between here. So I am going to use my flat brush. Again, I'm using my wing gauze. I'm going back and forth between my wing gauze and my Jaclyn Hill. And I'm going in with Tamarind. This is a gorgeous camel brown color right here. I'm gonna, I, I did set it. I set after I prime my lid. Because again, these go on better with a set shadow or lid. Oh, you know what I mean, come on. Okay. And FYI, I watched a bazillion reviews on this palette after I did my own and there has only been one bad review and I know 
who it is. I watch her faithfully. I respect her opinion. And I think that maybe she got a bad batch palette slash I don't freaking know. Um, but everyone else has the same opinion. So, you know, we all, we all have our own opinions and things work better for others. That is just the way life goes. So I stick by mine. Okay. I am debating on the color that I'm going to pull through right there. Hmm. I don't know if I'm going to do purple or blue. Let's just try the purple out. I'm going to see how this comes out. This is a beautiful purple. Maasai, I believe, is the color. So did you guys order anything from ColourPop for the Disney or the um, Jeffree Star launch today with the, the lip liners and the highlighters? I am such a big fan of his highlighters. They're, they're the best. They are really, really good. This is such a gorgeous purple. I love it. So beautiful. Now this palette's great because you can go with fall looks. You can go uh, spring, summer. It's like a year-round palette. I am like debatable on her next palette coming out. She has a gold palette coming out next week. But I don't know. It looks like there's a lot of gold in there. But they do all look different, like texture, um, color, and all that. So I'm not sure. It's just debatable. You guys let me know. What do you think? I think I should pick up her palette next week. The Natasha Denona Gold one. If you haven't seen it, it's on Trend Mood. It's really pretty, but I've just seen an awful lot of golden brown in it. So I don't know. And Huda's come out with a neutral. I am not a fan of Huda. I'm not going to lie. I'm just not a fan of Huda. So I'm going to go and do this one. I think the purple turned out good. And then I will be there. Okay, so I am done. And yes, there is fallout, which is not a make it or break it issue for me unless the shadows don't perform. And these perform very, very well. So... I'm going to clean this up and then conceal and then I'm going to bake, not cookies, but no, I'm going to bake under my eye and then I will be back to do underneath my I'm eye. back. And I figured why not start early? I'm going to be wearing these tonight. You can see them, they light up. Got them at Not Scary Farm. I got my Not Scary Farm shirt on. 2018 shows all the mazes on the back. So I am ready. Okay. Now I cleaned up and I, I baked under my eye. And I am ready to do under my eye. So let's see. I'm feeling very fallish. Very ready for the change in weather. Lord knows we've had enough heat. I'm going to use my Jaclyn Hill favorite brush. Although I do like this Delium ones for underneath my eye. It works really, really good. Um, but I'm going to go in with, I don't know. I don't know. That is not a shade. It is just literally me not knowing. I'm going to just, we're just going for it. I'm going in with this deep blue called, and I'm really going to try, Fata Mor Moranga, Morgana. More Ghana. Okay, I don't know. I'm I'm trying, but it's right here. Beautiful, beautiful, deep, deep blue. So we're going to pop that right under the eye. 
just going to break a little bit of the warm colored tones into the cool tone, which is okay. Just trying to, I'm testing out more of the shades because I know some people are still undecided. If you guys want to see any of these shades particularly used, let me know. Um, and I would be glad to do a video on any of these shades you want to see me use. That is a gorgeous blue and it just... Bam, outlined underneath my eyes so stunningly. And I brought it out just a little bit right here. Okay. By the way, I was wearing this, um, these eyeshadows, not the exact same way, but last uh, Friday when we went to Not Scary Farm, ironically. And then I wore it for a couple days after that. I need to touch up Tribe right here. Oh God, I love that color. That orange is mind blowing. Okay, now I am gonna go in with a lighter color. We're gonna go in with Stone right here. And bring that from the corner. And blend it into a little bit of the blue. I do have the Desi and Katie collab part two. Um, so if you guys are interested in that, I'll probably get to it next week. I'm not sure about tomorrow, but next week for sure. Oh, and for the um, upcoming giveaway, um, someone brought up if I'm ever going to include skincare, good, good question. Absolutely. Skincare is so important, especially when you are wearing makeup like me every day, all day. Well, some days I usually skip on uh, makeup. I just usually go all natural, but it is very important. Um, and I do have skincare put away for a giveaway. So, get on that halloween challenge i know i have not done it yet but you guys can submit any halloween theme you want i was going to break it up into like evil dramatic and dark and then we were going to go with um you know light themes kind of like um fairy and cutesy but I'm not going to break it up. I feel like everyone has their own go-to Halloween theme. And I'm just going to let everybody do whatever theme you want. So I hope you guys start getting that in. Great, great bag of giveaways coming up. Now I have to do the inner corner. And I think I'm going to go in with Aya again, which is the lightest shade in here. Just pop that right on the inner corner. And what would you guys like to see? I'm curious to see who fully watches this video. Vote on what palette you would like to see in a seasonal holiday giveaway. The Gingerbread, Too Faced. If Too Faced won, let me know which one. I know uh, Gingerbread's Too Faced, they have like 20 holiday palettes, uh, any of the heart holiday palettes. Um, I'm very curious for you guys to let me know because I'm totally going to have a holiday giveaway. I mean, come on now. But I want to buy it now because some of them supposedly are very highly limited edition. By the way, I'm using the new Hourglass Ambient Light Edit. Stunning! Okay? You just can't say enough about the uh, hourglass holiday palette. Okay. Since this is a collab, I'll do a little bit more on video. It will be a longer video. I am sharpening my Pat McGrath, uh, which is quite messy because it's one of those sharpeners where it doesn't hold the stuff that comes out. This is a Pat McGrath in uh, extreme black. I like it. Now, I have to be really careful what eyeliners I buy. Some of them 
irritate the heck out of my eyes and I have to give them away. This one so far I've been okay with. I just have to be careful not to go too deep in the eye. I don't know if you can see. This is one-handed people. One-handed. So yes, if you have a holiday palette in mind that you would like to see in a giveaway, let me know. I will only be picking one. Of course, it'll be in like a bundle with other things I pick up or that I have because I have got a lot. Oh, so I ordered the Desi collab. It makes my eyes water for a moment. But probably because I stuck it in my freaking eyeball on accident. Um, I have the Disney, oh my god, not Disney, Dizzy collab part one and two. So, part one, I don't remember if I gave away the quad shadows, I did not like them at all. They irritated my eyes. I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Liner in Neptune, Neptune. Okay, um. So I have a double of uh, the highlighter Fuego. Um, I did check it in the box, it is Fuego. So I will be putting that in the giveaway. You guys, I've got KKW, the um, her uh, light beams. I got so much, I'm gonna be making so many great giveaway bags and at any point in time if you know me you know that I could just come up with a pop-up giveaway just like that at any moment in time so you must always stay tuned watch my video thoroughly because I can tell for the most part in comments that you have not or you have just by the questions asked so it's very important. Make sure you go check out Sarah's channel. She is just phenomenal. She's beautiful. She's got a great spirit. It's amazing the people you can meet on social media. Some of them can be absolutely stunning and some of them can be just horrible. I've been very fortunate though. I really have. My subscribers, you guys, and everybody has just been so great. So I did get a little bit of this liner too far over on my shadow, which pisses me off when that happens. But we'll cover that up. I did not feel the need to wing it because I kind of already did with my eyeshadow so now we go for mascara I did already do my bronzer and my blush with the hourglass I asked the girl at Sephora the hourglass holiday or the Too Faced wet dry um, wet dry uh, Hold on, I'm grabbing my mascara right through the camera. The face palette from Too Faced that's wet and dry. And she's like, she laughed, kind of. She's like, the hourglass. But I still want to try the Too Faced wet dry face palette. So maybe in the future during Sephora's sale or Christmas gift. I'm not sure. I am using the NARS um, Climax, and people talk about names. Really? <laughs> um, I think NARS really tops it off, but it doesn't bother me. It's a name. I'm using the product. Who cares? Um, this was a mini sent to me from Sephora when I ordered something. So, it's a good way to try it out. I 
In fact, I should have got another one with my other package. I'm all looking now. Yeah, because I ordered... Oh, yeah, it's in here. That's what I'm talking about with Ipsy. I, I have pre-filmed an Ipsy. I got the Ipsy bag. Because I wanted the box. So I'm, like, waiting for it. Because I used to get Ipsy, but then I quit for, like, a year or something like that. I don't know how long I was gone, but they had all my info anyway. And so I want the box. But, uh... I'm getting the bag for now, but you'll see that video when it comes up. Ipsy's not a bad thing. It's just I get the sizes free. And a lot of you guys probably do too with purchase um, all the time. So it's just kind of like, but the brushes in there are worth 10 bucks. And I'm really liking this mascara. So when I run out of my Kush milk and my little mini, I might pick up the full size because this is a very good mascara. I mean, look at that. I mean, it's separated and it emphasized. I brought out my Kush just in case, you know, backup, but I don't think I need it. All right, now, I think that is it. I'm going to lightly set my face with the setting powders in here before I use what I show you next because uh, I am not sure how this is going to come out, but I want some of my face to be just set with a kind of a subtle kind of powder. And I definitely want a long lasting lipstick tonight. I don't want to have to retouch, especially at night. It's so dark, you can't see. Okay. Oh. All right. Now, this is like an overall setting powder. It is holiday, it is limited edition. It is the Omega Glaze All Over Foil Illuminizer by Marc Jacobs. And when this came out, my jaw dropped because I have their original bronzer and it is a gigantic. And this is huge. It is $49, but it is so huge. It is oversized, seamless. It's glow time. Okay, and it says... It is an all over foil luminizer, 10 grams, okay? <laughs> it's huge. But my thing is, I think for me, my skin tone, I'm not sure if this is gonna work, is just a highlighter. It says it is an all over foiled luminizer. Oh, look at that, baby. I need to, oh, I haven't even dug in it yet, and that is so gorgeous. And then it has the gold, so I'm gonna swatch it because I want I want to kind of see, like if I put that all over my face, am I gonna look like you know funky? I think so. So we're gonna set the rest of my face with my hourglass. This is gonna be a highlighter because that is just super. I mean, I could blend. This is gonna be gorgeous. I think on medium to deep skin tones. If you're fair, I'm not sure. But it is blending in very well. So I would go in and test it if you're curious. Um, but like on medium to deep skin tone. I have like an olive skin tone. I think it'll work perfect for a highlighter. Stunning. Okay. Let me spritz. One second. I'm not sure which spray I want to use. Okay, we're going to go for Smashbox. Not the Vlada because it has ruined my backdrop. I will use it, but when you use it, you get little specks stuck on your face. We'll let dry, that dry for a moment. Um... While I do that, I'll put away a couple things and um, what else? 
So, giveaway, uh, challenge, um, Halloween, anything you want to be, uh, make sure you tag me because I have some people that hit me up later on they said they did the challenge and then they didn't tag me and I feel really bad. So make sure you tag me. Uh, it's very important. Uh, I want to include everybody. Um, you can be anything you want to be. Uh, it doesn't matter and I have not set a deadline yet because I haven't even done it myself so um, I always give it at least two weeks and then I work with anyone that might need a little bit more time so we'll see I will get to it next week I'm just not sure on what I want to be for one and for two I've had like so many videos I wanted to get out and then also I just really haven't been in the mood to like dress up like as a character but if you have any ideas on what I should do let me know because I'm very curious what you guys would come up with I'm really curious um anyways I think it is dry enough now I think we're gonna go because that is gold and then we're gonna go in with what do you think about diamond yeah diamond uh bomb okay first we're going gold i want to see this one work now i'm using my wet and wild um fire and ice brush and i'm just gonna lightly dip it in i'm not how, sure how pigmented this is gonna come off Ooh, it's not bad. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I, I've been using my, especially the day I used the uh, Aubergine color from Kat Von D in my, my brows. I was playing around. It was kind of fun. Ooh, that is super whoa beaming. I can't wait to get Jeffree Star's new highlighters. He put them on, he turned the light off, and it was like glow in the dark. Whoa. I I bought three of them. I didn't buy it. He released five. And then 17 lip liner slash eyeliner. I was like, oh, hell no, I can't buy all that. So I had to pick and choose a couple. But um, the Morphe store by me said that they were going to get them I think by next week. They might get them before I mine actually ship, which is weird. I'm going to try it down my nose. Let's just see. Ooh. I really like that. I mean, look at that. Bam. Put a little bit up here. This way, you, my sister and nephew and my daughter can see me in the maze. They'll be like, oh, there's mom. She's glowing over there. See her? Uh. Oh, I love it. This is great. And then I'm going to place just a little bit here. So I'm probably going to wear a Kylie or Jeffree Star. Um, I'm wondering if I should still go on. I'm going to go on with just a little bit of diamond bomb. Just a tiny, tiny bit. Add a little bit of glitter and shimmer right here. Um, I'm going to wear a Kylie or Jeffree Star lipstick, I think. Because they're very long lasting. They're drying, but they're very long lasting. I added just a little bit of shimmer. A little bit more. Can I wrap too much shimmer? What the heck? Ooh, I like that. You know what? I should add that in the corner of my eye. What do you think? Nah, I'm going to leave it all matte. I like it. I'm going to leave it. We don't want to go mess something up. All right, you guys. Let me go put my hair down and figure out a lipstick. And I will come back with my final look. Okay, I am back. And I put my hair down for now. When I get to knots, it will go up. Because it'll drive me nuts. My favorite perfume, like, of the whole month is the Giorgio Armani Sea Passion. 
Um, I got this during the Sephora VIB and I absolutely love it. So I pulled out all of these uh, I'm trying to like match. I think this one matches the best. Um, this is Celebrity Scan. I think it is too light. Although, it could work. It could work. Um, then we have Androgyny, which is one of my favorites. And Gemini. And this is Rose Matter. Well, actually, between these two, huh? I'm gonna just go with Androgyny. I did order the matching lip liner for this one, and I love this color. I like the doe foot applicator too. It's very easy to apply. When I get the liners, we will test them out as eyeliner and uh, lip liners and see if they really are waterproof. So, here is Androgyny, and I think it goes very well um, with this look. This is my final look. Um, start getting those Halloween um, challenge picks or videos up as soon as you can uh there's no hurry there's not a big hurry but um i definitely would like the challenge to begin even though i need i need to do it myself give me some ideas down below if you've watched this whole video i know it's going to be a longer video than usual but it is a collab and i did want to get um uh, most of a full face in for it i want to thank sarah for doing this collab with me um, she's not just a fellow YouTuber, she is a very uh, cherished friend and I appreciate it and I hope she loves this palette as much as I do because it is absolutely stunning and I love it. It has been on my beauty desk since I bought it. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend and I will see you very soon. Again, let me know if you want me to vlog again at Knott's. I will have a good time. And have a great day. <laughs> I think it's been a long day for me. And I need to go now. But you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. Bye.